I love the holidays. The food, the music, and not the cheesy overplayed music, the, the new fresh take on holiday vibes music. And of course, who doesn't love a nicely decorated home? Even if you don't have a big tree or that many decorations. Nicely decorated home really hits the spot. But man, I need a video idea for the channel. Hello, welcome back to Flywheel Films, and it's almost Christmas. Do you have a Miata enthusiast in your life? And would you like to stuff their stockings with something more interesting than socks this year? Or do you want to stuff your own stocking with something more interesting than whatever you were going to buy? Hashtag treat yourself. Well, I have a list for you. These are five things you can put in your stocking for yourself or another Miata enthusiast or even a general car enthusiast because these things will work for pretty much any car. Let's dive right in. Well, first things first, the shift knob. And I have this awesome one here from Moss Miata and it's their commemorative shift knob from the Miata reunion. Now, that's just an example of a shift knob. Shameless plug, I just did a video uh, like a week ago or so, uh, or less, about shift knobs and what I chose, how I went from the NC knob to the ND knob, tried this one out for a bit, and now I have the Tome something or other. <laughs> anyway, shift knobs, super easy. It'll of course fit in a giant stocking, but it even fits in these tiny ones as well. So that's an easy gift. Very, um, typically very affordable. Now you can go extensively and order one of those like super custom shift knobs. It'll be like a hundred something dollars. Or you can go as cheap as the Tomei one that I got for like 30 bucks. It's an easy stocking stuffer and uh, I would recommend it for pretty much anyone. And like I said, just like all the other mods on this list, these will work with any generation Miata. In fact, most other cars as well. So what else? Let's jump outside. Wow, it's bright out here, but first up, with the Miata out here because they're already installed is the door bushings. Now, these are from Craven Speed and they're a, were a gift, I think maybe even a Christmas gift or a birthday or something from my friend Cameron. And he's helped me with various Miata stuff over the years. And actually my first Miata friend out here in Colorado. Miatas just are easy to make friends over, right? These are really cool because they're functional. And you might be like, why are you putting stuff in your door? Well, the stock door bushings are very soft, rubbery and flimsy. And the Miata being a convertible means there's less like rigidity happening in the roof. They have to rely on the rest of the chassis to make the car solid around like aggressive cornering and stuff like that, or even like body flex moments. So there's stuff you can put underneath the car, you know, extra bracing. I haven't done that yet. Uh, my friend Jackson has done that and he has cool videos. And by the way, he just did a video on these. They were his first mod on his Miata ever, which is understandable because it's cheap and technically effective. So that's an easy gift opportunity, just like Cameron gifted it to me. Um, they're affordable. They come in different colors. I didn't pick red, but he gave me red, which is cool because I was also planning on doing my calipers red. I just kind of have a couple red accents here and there. But yeah, if you get red, they'll match your uh, seatbelt inserts. <laughs> so. That's easy, go check out Jackson's video on installing these. It's very, 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 very simple. And it's the same part number across all Miatas. Now, speaking of Craven Speed, the stubby antenna. This guy right here is awesome. So the Miatas from the factory all come with this like RC car look. They have long, skinny antennas. By the way, one of my first videos was on this stubby antenna. I don't really recommend watching it because it's kind of cringy and, but, Hey, if you want to go back a few years and watch where I started and how bad my videos were, go for it. It's a very short video, but the Craven Speed is one brand. There are other brands as well of stubby antenna. It just makes it look a bit cleaner, I think. Now the factory antenna technically was designed by the engineers properly because it gives you better radio reception. This doesn't quite have as good radio reception. I haven't listened to the radio in like 20 years, so it didn't matter to me, but that's a very easy mod. It's interchangeable between NC and ND. And then I think NA and NB are also the same part number between them, but not between the two sets of generations, if that makes sense. What's next? Welcome to the interior of the Miata. Nice and quiet-ish. Uh, by the way, here's my Tomei knob. Once again, go check out that video to learn all about shift knobs, but I really like this thing. Nice and clean looking. In the interior, uh, one of my favorite things I did is the rev limiter gauge faces. 
Now, these things are you know, maybe a little bit pricey depending on your stocking stuffer budget and technically might not fit in a stocking unless you have a big stocking, but I'm still gonna throw it in here because I think it's an awesome, simple, but very effective mod. And by effective, I mean, you notice it every single time you drive. Now I will eventually redo it in a way, basically redo the paint on the red noodles, needles because it's not really, <laughs> It wasn't even paint. It was like an off-brand permanent marker, not even like a good permanent marker. So I'll fix that at some point, but that's a great option for the stocking stuffer. Also in the interior is the dash cam. So I did a video a couple of years ago, I guess, on dash cams with my friends Cameron and Justin. It was a lot of fun. Um, go check that out for just general dash, dash cam knowledge. I've since replaced that one with this one from 70 My. This is the M500. It's got internal storage, really high quality, almost 4K video recording, and you can access it through an app and stuff. But dash cams can be really important, can be beneficial for insurance purposes, peace of mind, or even just recording or capturing some of your favorite moments from drives. The dash cam can be a bit of a pricey mod depending on which model you go with, but there are cheap, affordable ones out there. Now, besides this 70 My M500, which by the way, I did a video on that on out of spec reviews, reviewing and installing this entire unit. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link that below. But they also have the new one, the Omni, which they sent me recently, and I can't wait to install that. Let's go check it out. So as we wait for my nerdy transition lenses to finish becoming clear again, let's get nerdy and see this new dash cam from 70 My. I'll do a whole video about their dash cams, um, but this is what they sent me and it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, in true Star Wars fashion, does this not look like a droid? <laughs> and this apparently just like hangs from your windshield and like scans the environment, I don't know. Um, it's very intriguing. I'm looking forward to putting this on, but yeah, all that to say, a dash cam is a fun gift option. And I mean, it's not super fun, but it's effective and it's safe. And it can be fun if it looks like this. <laughs> Last but not least is swag. Now, remember how earlier I said socks are a really boring gift. That's not true if they are Miata socks. How freaking cool is this? There's a couple colors. Um, these are from Moss Miata and I will definitely be wearing these these holiday season. Of course, you can also do hats um, like this winter hat. I also have another hat that I was wearing in a previous video and shameless plug, something I am very excited about. ASMR. A calendar. Why not? There's Ghosty right there. And I think Ghosty is on November, I wanna say. A lot of really clean Miatas in here and they have great representation across all generations. But, um, aha, December is ghosty. So check out the Moss Miata calendar and um, that way you know what date it is. I don't even know how to use real calendars. The phone is everything for me, but Miata swag. You can throw stockings inside a stocking just like that. And there's lots of other swag from people like Goodwin Racing or Mazda themselves, or of course, Flying Miata, which is somewhat local to me here in Colorado. So there you have it, a quick list for a Miata or car enthusiast in your life, stuff to throw in their stockings or your own stocking, hashtag treat yourself. But leave a like if you liked what you saw and subscribe down below because there will be plenty more videos coming soon. Stuff to do on my car, maybe even some other cars, we'll see. But um, yeah, enjoy your holidays. I'm gonna go watch my fake fireplace and wish I had more Christmas decor. And um, if you're watching this in July for some reason, congrats, you're an overachiever. Cheers.